I've had the privilege over the years of leading a lot of people to Christ, but you know what? I didn't do one thing other than bring glory to God and, and to be in obedience. <coughs> Sharing my faith. It's God that's the miracle worker. But He allows us to be part of that. You're doing drugs. You want a real rush? Walk in obedience and tell people about Jesus. And watch somebody give up their life and their lives to be fully transformed. Watch the Holy Spirit get a hold of them and watch a change in front of your very eyes. That's a rush. <coughs> but we got to pick up our map. I know it's hard. There's not a week that goes by that people aren't sharing, you know, the snares that are out there for them to fall into. But just pick up your mat and walk. Jesus gives us the power to walk. If we put our faith in Him, if we've invited Him in, in, into our life, He gives us power to have victory in those areas. Now maybe this message today wasn't for everybody. And maybe you haven't got anything out of it. I don't know. It's between you and God. But if God's tugged on your heart about something that you need to get a hold of, I want you to pray with me right now. I'm just going to close this message as Kenny and the team come forward. And, and I just want to just take a moment of silence for you to just lift your mat before God. Lift it before God right now, just in a moment of silence. If you're not a believer and you're here today, would you just bow your head and allow just the silence of God to touch you? If you're dealing with a struggle, would you lift it to God? If you need a healing, would you lift it to God? If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior, would you just say, Lord, I don't have it all together. I don't understand it all, but I'd love to have a relationship with you. I'm a sinner. I know that I've done things that aren't right. And today, Lord Jesus, I just ask for your forgiveness. And I invite you to come into my life. Father, your word tells us that nobody ever puts their hand to the plow and, and turns around on the leaves and, and goes backwards. I just ask that you would just give us tenacity to pick up our mats and to walk. I pray that you would help us to be responsible for who we are in you. Not to put the blame on you, not to put the blame on the boss, not to put the blame on the friend, not to put the blame on anybody else, not to put the blame on the drugs, not to put the blame even on the devil. I just pray, Father, that you would just help us to pick up the mat and walk. Help us to be responsible and to, and to deal with what we need to deal with. I pray, Lord, for that person that's struggling here, that's looking for direction or probably uh, directives in their life or a way of getting a hold of it, that you would just help them to set some boundaries. Let them see your light out in front of them, Father, and may their path be, be lit so well that they would not lose their way. Help us to be accountable. Mold us into your image. And Father, give us a passion for Jesus. Give us a passion like these four friends that wanted so much to take their friend to Jesus that they was willing to think out of the box and to just go the extra mile so that someone could have an experience, could come to the presence of God. I pray as a church, Father, that you would empower us with this passion, that you would give us the mind and the hearts of reaching out and doing great things so that you would be glorified. Pray, Father, as we conclude our weekend and we head into our, our, our walk this week, whether it's on the job or at school or the summer break or, or going on vacations, I pray, Father, that you would, would just be with us. We know that you live inside of us through your Holy Spirit. May we always remember that we don't walk alone and that in you we can have victory because of your love and your power and your might. And Father, I just give you praise for all of that. Pray, Father, if there's just one person here today that for the first time maybe said, you know, Father, forgive me a sinner to come into my life, that they would share that with somebody before they leave. We thank you that if we believe in our hearts and profess with our mouths that we are saved. And what a great miracle, Father, that those who were lost have been found. 